Yo, what's up, YouTube? This is your boy, Junior, a.k.a. Smoking Guns out here in Tucson, Arizona, representing the Ultimate Fight Club, giving you the latest content in boxing and MMA news that is out. So, today's video, man, this is going to be the aftermath of last night's UFC 243 with Robert Whitaker versus Israel Adesanya for that undisputed middleweight championship title. And yo... That fight was a freaking good ass fight and literally that fight went exactly like I thought it might go man and dude it was very exciting on both behalf of the fighters just for the simple fact is you got two dudes who I knew would be right in the middle of the freaking octagon would be willing to trade with each other was going to be willing to stand up with each other and I had a very good feeling that neither one of these dudes were going to be trying to take each other down and go Going into this fight in that first round, you had a dude like Robert Whitaker who was trying to press the pace on a dude like Israel Adesanya, and he was being very methodical in his approach to the way he was trying to press the action on the dude like Israel Adesanya trying to stay on the outside to be able to gauge the range and to keep himself on the outside of Israel Adesanya's range trying to use that low oblique kick to be able to freaking catch Adesanya off guard trying to catch Adesanya off balance but the height and the range of Israel Adesanya you could tell was clearly throwing off Robert Whitaker because he wasn't able to be able to get his shots off on Israel Adesanya to be able to land but he was able to get a few shots off on Israel Adesanya when he would come in with that blitz rig style on him and Israel Adesanya was doing a very good job being able to pull back away from the punches still be able to stand his ground and still be able to catch Robert Whitaker with some counter striking when Robert Whitaker was trying to blitz rig him and at the end of that damn first round when Robert Whitaker literally did the same exact thing trying to blitz rig Israel Adesanya with some shots and Israel Adesanya just kind of pulled back and hit him with a nice little short right rocked his ass dropped his ass right at the last couple of seconds of that first round and as soon as Israel Adesanya stood overhead of Robert Whitaker was about to rain down a friggin heavy ass shot and the bell rung the referee literally saved Robert Whitaker from getting his ass knocked out in that damn first round and and going into the second round, you could see that Robert Whitaker was trying to get that get back, really pressing the pace on Israel Adesanya, really catching him off guard, really catching him off balance a lot of times in that damn second round. And in the middle part of that second round, Robert Whitaker tried to blitz rig Israel Adesanya and Israel Adesanya did the same thing that he was doing during the fight. Well, pull back and he came with the little short right and off of the short right, he he hit homie with a nice little short left hook, dropped Robert Whitaker again, and as soon as he pounced on Robert Whitaker, you could tell Robert Whitaker was laid out, effed up, and he was about to start striking on him, and the referee ended up just breaking it up immediately, and now you have Israel Adesanya, who is the new undisputed UFC middleweight champion in that damn division dude you gotta give this dude hella props for believing in himself the way that he has believed in himself speaking everything that he has spoke and making it come into fruition and he is definitely gonna be a threat to anybody in that damn middleweight division especially with being able to take out Robert Whitaker in the fashion that he was able to take him out in now Going into the future with the dude like Israel Adesanya, it definitely looks like his next matchup is going to be going up against Paulo Costa, who is a friggin' wrecking ball striker in that damn middleweight division. Very deadly striker in that damn middleweight division. And this will definitely, definitely be a very huge test for both of these fighters in that damn division to see who is the true king in that damn middleweight division because even though they're both strikers the style of striking that they do have are two totally different styles because you got to do like Israel Adesanya 
who is definitely a methodical type of striker going up against a dude like Paulo Costa who is a friggin' powerhouse wrecking ball super aggressive fighter so we will definitely be getting an exciting fight for the next title defense for Israel Adesanya for that damn middleweight title and I guess only time is gonna tell will Israel Adesanya be able to defend that belt from Paulo Costa's wrecking ball type of style all right you guys so I hope you guys like the video if you guys like the video make sure to hit the like button if you're not subscribed make sure to subscribe to the channel and if you guys have any kind of questions any kind of comments hit me up in the comment section and I'll be sure to hit you guys up all right so I hope you like the video holla at your boy